Hey guys, it's Chris. From the remains of a murdered pharaoh to some new info on the creepiest Roman emperor of all time. Here are 10 of the creepiest recent discoveries. Number 10, an unusual artifact. An unusual and very creepy artifact has just been discovered inside of an Egyptian mummy dating to be 2,000 years old. The mummy was examined using a particle accelerator, which revealed a tiny artifact made of a special mineral known as calcite. Wow, it's kind of cool what we can do with modern technology nowadays. The artifact was found near the abdomen next to a tiny incision that had been made to remove the mummy's viscera during the embalming process. The artifact is a small remaining piece of an amulet that was placed inside of the mummy's body to protect it in the afterlife. Even creepier is the fact that the artifact was probably a small scarab beetle, which was pretty common in ancient Egypt. And yet even more disturbing is the fact that the mummy was just under four feet tall. She was only a child. She was about five years old when she was mummified, and this has actually freaked out the analysts doing all the tests because the painting on the coffin actually showed an adult woman. Experts are saying that the portrait painted on the coffin may have been a representation of what the child could have looked like had she survived to adulthood. Number 9. Infant Eating Parasites An evolutionary biologist named Scott Egan recently discovered a brand new species of wasp that is exceptionally creepy, and he found it just within walking distance of his own laboratory at Rice University. The new species of wasp has been described as a parasite of a parasite. They're a type of gall wasp. And normally, gall wasps lay their eggs on oak leaves and then chemically seduce the tree into producing a growth known as a gall that shelters the wasps' eggs and helps to feed the larvae when they hatch. But as for these new gall wasps, they actually lay their eggs inside of other wasps' gall. Ew! The adult wasp then kills caterpillars that come by and feed on the gall tissue. So when their own larvae emerge, they can break out of the gall and feed on the dead caterpillars. You again! Basically, the wasps are stealing the egg nests of other wasps and then allowing their young to feed on dead caterpillars and maybe even the larvae of the other wasps, making this one of the creepiest insect interactions that has recently been found in the natural kingdom and introducing a brand new type of wasp into the world. It's like a horrifying insect soap opera. Would we be okay to maybe not know this exact piece of Mother Nature's duties? Number 8. The Creepy Humanoids Some very freaky cave paintings have just been discovered in Tanzania, leading some to speculate as to what kind of creatures were living on Earth back when these strange cave paintings were done. They were found in a small cave shelter, and the images depict ritual scenes that don't really make any sense. The scenes drawn on the cave walls have nothing to do with any of the traditional rituals enacted by the local culture known as the Sandawe, who have DNA lineage dating back as far as 87,000 years ago. Instead, the cave paintings display humanoid figures that look like they could possibly be aliens. The paintings were discovered in June of 2018 hidden behind a previously undisturbed rock overhang. Researchers from Poland recently told Sci News that the figures depicted are unknown. Some of the figures are definitely cattle and buffalo, but some of them look like humanoid monsters, with giant circular heads, long and stringy limbs, and other features that are barely definable. It could be that the ancient Sandaway people were drawing visitors from another planet onto the walls of caves. Or these figures could be exaggerated people with really fluffy hair. The truth is that nobody really knows, but these images are definitely creepy. What do you think? Did extraterrestrials show up for the Sandaway people? And were they then drawn on these cave walls? Or could it be an ancient child coloring? Let me know in the comments below, and then don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Number 7. Caligula's Hangout Caligula was hands down the creepiest emperor Rome ever had. I mean, that's really not even up for debate. He was the Roman emperor from 37 to 41 and is still famous today for his debauchery, his selfishness, and general disgustingness. He only ruled over the empire for a couple years, but he still managed to reserve a special place in the halls of history for the way he was described as being a megalomaniac, a pervert, and a malevolent lunatic who spent more time partying and spending money than ruling Rome. Now Caligula's favorite hangout, an archaeological site called Horti Lamiani, is being opened to the public. 
This is the place where Caligula kept exotic animals, where he bathed with hordes of women, and where he partied his butt off till dawn. What's really fascinating is that archaeologists actually discovered the subterranean remains of Caligula's favorite watering hole underneath a condemned apartment complex from the 19th century. Between 2006 and 2015, this site was slowly excavated, with amazing artifacts being uncovered throughout the process, including the bones of lions and peacocks. Some archaeologists are saying that the remains of Horti Lamiani are shedding a more disturbing and creepy light on the rather lewd behavior of the old Roman emperors, especially Caligula. Number 6. Brutal Death of a Pharaoh Scientists have recently used computerized scans to check out the mummy of an Egyptian pharaoh from 3,600 years ago. The results of their scans have revealed the extraordinarily creepy and brutal circumstances surrounding that pharaoh's death. This is Pharaoh Shikwenen Ri Ta II and apparently he died from multiple wounds to his face and head, suggesting he was surrounded by several attackers armed with a multitude of weapons, such as daggers and axes, and that he had been butchered by them in a war that started over some hippopotamuses, which is, like, kind of fascinating. What's even more striking is that it appears that the embalmers mysteriously tried to cover up the wounds before the pharaoh was mummified. All of this is detailed in a new study published in the journal Frontiers in Medicine. Pharaoh Shikwenen Ri Ta II was the 14th pharaoh of the Theban dynasty, ruling over the south of Egypt. This was around 1650 to 1550 BC. The mummy was first discovered in the 1880s, but scholars have been debating the exact nature of the man's death ever since. Apparently, the war in which this pharaoh was killed all came about because his pet hippos were keeping awake the king of Hyksos by snoring at night in the sacred pools. This was happening about 400 miles away from the pharaoh. The king of Hyksos wanted the hippos killed, which led to a war, and the kingdom of Hyksos was destroyed, and the restoration of pharaoh rule resumed in the 16th century, all because of some snoring hippos. Number 5. Creepy Shipwreck A breathtaking yet creepy shipwreck has just been discovered by archaeologists off the coast of Kent in the United Kingdom. According to the recent report from Express News, the shipwreck was found with several different treasure chests inside. The name of the ship is the Roosevag, and it apparently had been owned by the Dutch East India Company. The vessel had been on its way to Jakarta in 1740 when bad weather caused it to sink to the murky bottoms of the ocean. About 250 people died during the ship's sinking, and the disturbing remains stayed on the ocean's floor until the wreck was found once more in 2005. However, it was not until 2016 that the ship was properly investigated by marine archaeologists from historic England. They allegedly found the remains of some of the crew, which is pretty much unheard of for any underwater shipwreck because curious and hungry sea creatures typically eat the remains of the bodies floating around. However, fast forward to late 2020, and the investigation of this disturbing shipwreck is still ongoing. It'll probably be a while until we have all the information on the remnants of the dead crew and the contents of the mysterious treasure chests, but at least we know more now than we did before. Number 4. Blasting Trumpets In 2020, a horrifying discovery was made. When the people from the San Francisco area began to hear what could only be described as the strange and creepy sounds of blasting trumpets coming from the sky. This crazy phenomenon had led some people to claim that the Christian apocalypse was incoming, as one of the signs of the end of days is of course trumpet blasts heralding doomsday. According to a report from Express News, multiple San Francisco residents have come forward, saying that they've heard the sound, with some people saying that they heard the trumpet blast so clearly that they thought they were losing their minds. And to make matters even worse, people also reported hearing the biblical sounds in the United Kingdom, Germany, Australia, and even in the Ukraine. Of course, this is probably not the seven trumpets described in the book of Revelation as sounding the last days of humanity before a catastrophic event, but still, it's pretty creepy that so many different people from so many different parts of the world heard the same jarring sounds. So what do you think the noise was? Let me know in the comments below. And definitely leave a comment if you're one of the people who heard the noise. Number 3. The Plague Doctor in these times of sickness and strife, the mask of the plague doctor is seen everywhere. This is a recent obsession that seems to be sweeping the internet. 
so let's take a look at an authentic 16th century plague doctor mask that's currently preserved and displayed at the Museum of Medical History in Germany. This is one of the only true plague doctor masks still in existence today, and we don't really know where it came from. It was obviously crafted sometime in medieval Europe, but it's not clear where the mysterious mask was procured or how it even made its way to the museum. But let's talk a bit about the Plague Doctor mask itself. It was designed with a hollow bird's beak that would strap to the doctor's face and then act as a type of respirator. The beak that you see on the Plague Doctor mask was made long and thick for good reason, because it held things like dried flowers, herbs, and even a vinegar sponge. The point of the hollow beak was to keep the bad smells away, which were thought to be the source of disease. The Plague Doctors of old believed that the herbs inside of the beak would counter the evil stench of the plague and therefore stop them from being infected. Number 2. A Gruesome Discovery Archaeologists have recently made a rather frightening discovery in Poland. A massive burial area with at least 119 tombs and the skeletal remains of children and young adults were discovered in a small village, and strangely, some of the dead bodies even had coins inside of their mouths. Scientists have dated the tomb back to the 7th century AD, and what makes these particular burials so creepy is that 80% of them were children, which points to some kind of mysterious event that caused a huge surge of child deaths in a relatively short period of time. As for the curious coins placed in the mouths of the dead, this was an ancient Polish belief, which mimics the old Greek mythology about needing payment to get a dead person's soul into the afterlife. Nobody really knows what happened to all these dead children, but it's definitely a freaky discovery. Number 1. Baby in a Jar in yet another terrifying archaeological discovery, researchers were shocked to have found the skeleton of a baby buried inside of a jar. The baby in the jar was found while archaeologists excavated a small site in Jaffa. According to the researchers with the Israel Antiquities Authority, the jar was found inside of a shallow pit about 10 feet beneath street level, almost smack dab in the middle of the ruins of a 4,000-year-old city. The baby's skeleton dates back 3,800 years and the researchers are not completely sure why the baby was inside of a jar. One of the most popular theories is that the vessel was supposed to be symbolic of the womb. However, considering this discovery just happened, researchers still need a bit more time to work out all the gory details. Thanks for watching. Which of these bizarre discoveries was the creepiest to you? And how would you feel about people walking around in plague doctor outfits today? Let me know in the comments, and be sure to hit that subscribe button and come back soon for another amazing video.